Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. This is part four of this pretty little tree of life with a swing, which is a first for me. So, I'm going to get right into this. I hope you're well. It's two o'clock in the morning, and I'm not in my workspace, so the setup is good. And I hope you can hear me. Oh, and I hear a bell. That means Finn is coming downstairs to join us. So, this is a nice space right here, and I'll start off with putting a leaf, and I'll do that using three, four millimeter bicones. For anyone that is seeing this for the first time, I don't edit if you're new here. I don't know how, but I share everything, and I share my mistakes, and I show you how to fix them, because if you've never made a tree, you'll make mistakes too. Um, everything that I use is available in a playlist, because I don't know how to list, and it's not a lack of knowledge, it's a lack of memory. <laughs> I don't remember, so I, I forget, and I've tried, but anyway. We're not going to talk about that. No negativity, just positive stuff. So you will find everything in a playlist. And I do answer questions. And I am now learning that I don't just have comments where the bell is. So if I've missed comments, I do apologize. I'm still learning. I found this out last night. Came across comments I didn't know I had. And they were not new. So, yeah, some of them are way back when I was in the hospital, like two months ago when I had that unfortunate emergency surgery. But anyway, so I have a question for everybody, especially now that I know what algorithm means and the importance of thumbs up and all the new subscribers. How did you find my channel? I'm curious to know because I have been posting on on TikTok and I have not been updated on my Instagram, but I've been trying to do a lot of shorts to encourage people to take a look at my channel. And um, I just simply put down tutorials. So if you have a minute, let me know how you found my found me and um, that would mean a lot to me and also don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like my work that would mean a lot to me too okay let me get over here where you can see right now I'm just alternating crystals with the, the round the round crystals are a mix of um, six and eight millimeter round crystals. The little ones that I used with them are four millimeter bicones, and they are also the one that I've chosen to make my leaves with. And as many of you know, I I use them on everything. Actually, I think I wanted to put a leaf here. Did I? Um, yeah, I'm gabbing, guys. So, I put a leaf, a cluster, and now I'd like to put another leaf because that will help fill in the spot right here. Once it's all put together, you wouldn't even notice it, but I like to try and keep with, not a theme or a pattern, but, yeah, maybe a theme or a pattern. I just wanted to look, that's all, and I want you to be able to follow what I do. So I put the three vicones on to make the leaf. Put this, bring the wire over to the cross, the, where you made your twist, and just twist your vicone leaf like that. I'm trying to figure out where is the best spot for my hands. 
thinking right there. Very, very hot out here, and I cannot put the air conditioning on because it sounds horrible. So I'm moving the wire because I twist with the top wire towards me, and I'm trying to teach you good, good habits. Always twist with the long wire, and if you're making leaps, use the long wire. Otherwise, you make them up short and not be able to reach your hoop. If that does happen, um, because it's happened to me, and it was requested, I did do an in-depth tutorial on how to fix it, how to replace a section, how to fix a broken wire, and a wire that is too short. So they're in a playlist. Hopefully that has helped someone. If you've run into that situation. And if you haven't, I'm, I am proud of you because I have done it. I did it on the huge double tree, the one with the stones around it. That is also in that, um, on that playlist because I had to do every single wire. I came up short. But, okay, I'm going to I brought it to my hoop, wrap it around. I'm going to do them twice on this one, if you haven't seen the first few parts. I will also put this in my favorites, um, full tutorials, and also 16 wires in four branches. That's one playlist. This way here, they'll all be together. I've already put the first three parts um, in those playlists and um, the thumbnail will show you just the bottom part so you'll be able to recognize what you're looking for so part one was twisting this tree part two was making this swing and part three was the first half of beading or the first section of beading so let me just add a few twists as i go because i'd like the bead the twist to come up so that the beads will be around the same space around. It doesn't have to be exact. And the reason for that is if I wanted it to be exact, it wouldn't work out that way. Another reason it's good to have these wires so long, I can pull them around so that you can see the work. And my hair. Sorry about that. That's rude, but my hair is very long. I did throw a whole bunch of bicones in here yesterday because I couldn't find them. And I decided just to dump the beads, all the crystals, because maybe they'll make a little less noise when I move them around. So right now I'm just still, I'm alternating crystals and beads. And then I'm changing the color and Making something pretty. So what you have to do is get in to your work with your other hand, the one that you're not twisting with, if you can. These wires are they're very sharp, they're very long. Okay, so the reason I say for you to get in there with your other hand is you want to hold on to these beads right here that you just put on like that with your thumb support your work I like to put my work in my hand push them down away from your twisting fingers I like to cross them over and I don't like this big space here with the wire see the all that exposed wire so I stick my thumb in there and just push down so that it'll hold it closer to the beads like that so there's not so much wire showing and then I cross it over and then just put in my twists. So now there's not so much wire in front of that red bead. And that's about it. I mean, it's a pretty easy pattern. It's not just stringing them on. 
Now I'm going to put a leaf. So I'll use three of these four millimeter pie cones. I have got to not put my hand. I should be on this side. I'm standing and I have it set so I can sit down. But I am so afraid I'll get out of focus. But it's not helping if my hand is in the way. Okay, so I'm going to just twist that leaf until it closes up into a triangle like that. And then hold the leaf. Twisting with the long wire. See, after you make a leaf, you have one wire that's significantly longer than the other. So you're going to twist with that one. I twist towards me, so I use this one. That's the long one. Support the leaf. Cross the wire over. Add your twists like that. Now we're ready for the next cluster. That leaf is a little short. It should have fit up there, but that's okay. Just gonna twist a little bit more, and then I'll show you what I'll do. No, actually, it's okay. Um, I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna do it anyway, not because it's not good. It's just basically to show you. If you're working on something and you really want to have something like right here in this space, it's not going to matter because you're not going to notice it, but this leaf didn't quite make it. So, and if you're not using bicones, if you're just using beads, put one on, just one, and you're going to make a leaf out of that. Oh, I don't want to use the red one, sorry. I just used one. Let's see what I don't have right there. I think we can use this one. Well, maybe the bigger. I'll use an 8 millimeter instead of the 6. So, basically, what you're going to do is just put that on like that. And slide it up just like you do a leaf. Bring it over to where the twists are like that. And now you're going to twist the same way you twisted your leaf. And hopefully, it'll fit right in that. Oops! In that space right there. So gently and hold on to both wires just throw in a twist you don't have to do a whole bunch just like that and now with the long wire add some more just like you do after every little leaf now do you see before I put that one there my cluster would have been there I still have room for the cluster but I filled that space in with this one here this yellow one I hope you can see that And now we're going to make another cluster. I'm sorry, I just want to get these bicones up there. Let's see what color do we want to put. Um, I think we'll use a lilac. I have such a mix in here from every project and the new beads. Well, they're not that new anymore, but they're newer than the ones I use from my my Misfit beads, my collection from many years that I didn't realize I had. And I didn't put it in the right order. I need to put... I alternate the size on the other wire like that. So I have a uh, four millimeter and then a big and then a big and then a four so that when I twist them they'll be nice and close. So I'm just going to support them. Get my thumb in there and push down and close up that space and then twist. Like that. And we're going to bring it up to our hoop. Ooh, we're getting caught up. and pass it through your hoop and keep, notice I'm in control this is not sliding everywhere because I'm not trying to wrap it around nope when I wrap it around put my finger right on that bring it up and over put my finger back on it I'm in control that's not moving take my two eyes and backtrack in the space behind the branch we just made 
pull those wires through like that. I'm still holding on to that because I'm pushing it while I pull this up and over like that. So what we're going to do now is cut those wires and um, I'm going to use my tweezers because I don't use pliers for this. I'm going to get in there and get nice and close like that with the flat edge. For anyone that's new, um, when I first started I used a nail clipper and tweezers because I didn't want to invest in supplies. I still use the tweezers even though I have the supplies because I can get in just like that. Oh, I hear my cat crying. That's Abby. I left the room. I may have to step away. If she hasn't settled down. She has been talking. She's my baby. And Finn is the second one. The ginger, and he's a he's a handful. And Miss Abby, she don't like him. But he's loyal to her. So if you have cats or dogs or a bear to drag in, whatever your pet is, you know how they have their own little personality. Well, they do. <laughs> I think it's funny. I always end up talking about my pets. It's like when I was younger, my kids were younger. You talk about your children. Now I talk about my husband and my pets. But that's okay. Somebody told me it was okay. Right here on this channel. Okay, so now... So guys, the difference out here is I am bent at the waist. So my back is starting to hurt. In my workspace, the table that I work is like over six feet long. Oops, I got a jumper that made them shake. I mean, I'm going to leave it there. But anyway, so this, this table is a table you sit at, so it's much lower, but let me know if the quality is better out here. The only downside is when I work out here during the day, I do mute myself because there is a TV here, and this is where my husband comes home, and he relaxes, and he does his work calls and all that kind of stuff. So I like to work, but not bother him or distract. So... No, it's, I would rather just mute it than put it to music because I don't like to watch a video with music. I'd rather mute it, which I do, and then just listen to whatever it is I want to listen to. Okay, so we've got a big one and a bicone. So now we'll do a bicone and a crystal. Um, I'll use a six millimeter bicone. Like that. And then I just push them down and support it so that I don't break this branch. Like that. Get my thumb in there. Nice and tight. You see how close it is to that where I cross the wire? That's what you want. So you don't have a lot of wire showing like down here you really can't do much about that but I can at the top so I do no I did it again that's okay I'm just gonna do a, um, another cluster or I could put another leaf I'm gonna put another leaf So to fill in that space, I'll just make the leaf um, branch a little bit longer. I'll show you. This one actually is where it should be. So this one, I want to fill in over here. So I'm going to just pull it further down. Instead of being short, it'll be a little bit longer. Like that. 
and now holding the two eyes just twist it a few times to close up the space like that and it'll fit right there after twisting out little character bends maybe it won't I don't know it'd be fun to find out you never you, you can never really tell it's gonna do whatever it wants like I wanted this not to be to one side. I really didn't want, I wanted it to be in the center and I don't think it will be, but that's okay. I think it's because I put the bend in. I used to wait for that bend and do that last, but lately I've been doing it ahead of time and I think that's one of the reasons why they turn out not quite in the center. But I don't mind it. Am I in the right branch? No. Okay. Bring the beads down, push them down, cross that wire over. See, I don't want to just twist like that because I don't want all that wire to show. See how it's real long right here? If I start twisting right there, you're going to see all that wire before that blue bead. So, that's why I grasp them, pull them down, cross the wire over in the middle with my thumb, push, and give a twist. Oh, my poor girl's crying. Bring your lines over, pass it up, cross it over again, pass it up, and now you're going to backtrack in between the two branches, and you're going to go right across the top, the neck of the branch, right beneath the hoop above the beads, keeping that finger there, give it a good tug, bring it up, and hold on to it, don't let it go, cross it over, and cut and then push those wires down so these are dollar to dollar store or CVS tweezers they're not I have these pointy ones and those ones are wider and flat and they get the job done I couldn't do this with plies. I've tried. And I've had these for years. I have not broken them yet. But I've broken pliers and I broke this. This no longer has that little piece in there, so I have to manually open and close it, but that's okay. Not that I can't afford to buy one, I just don't ever think that I've become used to doing that. I still see that wire. Don't like it. So. There we go. Now, because I'm impatient, one on one, I'm going to get in here and all the little leaves, I'll come back and do those after. But for the main branches, I like to put my work in my hand, cross my thumb over it, and that's just supporting it so that you don't break anything. And then no matter how you have to and just put little bends and what that'll do is make it look good but it also pulls everything down and that's why I don't wrap around the hoop because I notice I pull tight and it used to unravel even if I cut on the underside after I pulled sometimes it would slip up and I didn't like it and I did it that way for a long time until I figured out how to do it a different way. The same with lacing my branches so that they don't slip on the, they don't do this, they don't slide. If you put a jump ring in a chain, it's, you're going to have a space. You don't want that. So I will show you how to do it. I won't go into great detail as I do it, but in the playlist there is a um, tutorial that goes into extreme detail with contrast color wire. 
and I did that just so that you could see it done slowly. I did it more than once and I did use a contrast wire. That way then you'll know why, why I do it. And um, I've gotten good feedback on it. You know, it looks like something that I came up with myself because I didn't like the branch to slide. I don't know if anybody else has ever done it, but it's not something that I saw someone else do. It's something that I've learned on my own, and I never make a tree without using a lace or wrapping. That's what I call it. So, now if you haven't, click the thumbs up if you like my, my tutorial so far. I do try to um, go into detail what I'm doing so that you, you'll succeed, you know? I, I don't want to show you the pretty pretty without the explaining and, you know, like I do things different here. That's okay with me. So if you like it, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. I'm watching and I'm not getting nearly as many as I am getting views. Oh. All right, guys, I'm going to end it here. It's almost a half an hour. My dad is crying and I cannot. So I'm going to leave you with that. And I'll be back and we'll do some more.